Hey, what's going on, y'all? Um, it's a boy, Van, with another tip of the cap. <clears throat> and I thought I did this one, like, a couple of years back, but I guess it never posted or whatever, or, like, this didn't do one. But, um, here we are right now. So, um, this one, as you see, with the shirt and the hat combination, it's a Dragon Ball um, hat. Um, the shirt's actually from Dragon Ball Z. It's like a chibi or deformed version of Goku, so obviously he's not that small in the Dragon Ball Z series, at least. And you know, if, if you, I grew up watching this cartoon, so uh, it's funny because like the the kids in my class like know about it, and I'm sure like their parents, and, like a couple of other kids, like I, I talked to a couple of kids, and like their parents grew up on it, so they're watching it. And though you know, at the time, it was like. TV 14. I mean, it's like definitely a PG, more almost like a PG 13. But I mean, like you know, your kid's not like no screw up. I mean, should be I. Right. It's not terrible, but like yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, you know, it's just funny that it's definitely a generational thing. So like, kids are like, I was a little older. I was like high school when I started watching Dragon Ball Z. So I, you know. And I was pumped, even though it took like ten episodes to like advance the story, because <laughs> like it took forever to for them power up. But I'll I'll digress. Um, yeah, but the hat itself is actually from Dragon Ball, regular Dragon Ball. So, um, as you see, this is one of the Dragon Balls right here. But the nice thing, the cool thing about it really is like, it as you notice as I rotating it bit by bit. It um, has all seven Dragon Balls and in the anime manga, I guess, whatever. Um, you know, they go looking for Dragon Balls and they have this guy come up, Shinron, and um, make a wish or whatever. Um, it's made out of wool. Um, I like the brim detail. has a Dragon Ball tag, so the original Dragon Ball and um all that and the forget the brand name how to say the brand name like 2e 2e or toey but um you know they're a pretty big uh anime company per se so so to speak so uh we got this hat uh, about like four maybe five years ago <clears throat> from um like, kind of this third party online website, or like they're more like the middleman, it's uh, known as Rakuten, Rakuten Global. Um, and then I forget the actual store that was selling this hat, but um, one of the main, re I mean, we got it straight from Japan, so um, one of the, I mean, like the price point wasn't too bad, it's just the shipping that comes on top of it, it's just a pain in the butt, so all right, it's like, it was like, yeah, it's definitely like. Um, a lot of clothes. It was like ninety, a hundred dollars for like this hat in particular. So like you know, that's cool. It's like there's like Japan. You know, I I would like some more Japanese caps. This is the price point. It's just too much. So it's hard to like really commit one. But like this is like one of those like all right, I gotta get it because you know I I was a fan of the anime series growing up and like I still watch the uh, the new uh, Dragon Ball Super anime uh, sub. Even though they just dropped uh, the English dub version, which um, is one of the few dub English dubs that I would prefer to watch personally, because like you know the voice talents is great, and um, yeah, <laughs> so I mean it's cool just to have this hat, and um, that's just my tip of the cap to y'all. So just gonna make sure I say that um, Memorial Day coming up, all that. So. Um, this be this stay safe out there and have fun and like enjoy the the sun and all that. So uh, tell them that your boy Van and we'll be back at it real soon. So tell them peace.